In this video I'll run through how to set up and use work offsets in WardCam and then we'll also show you how to set that up on um, the Move controller. So we'll go ahead and set up a work offset on this machine here and use the Move controller to um, then establish where that work offset position is on the table and go ahead and run a program. If you're not familiar with the uh, work offsets, they're typically used if you're going to be uh, cutting the same program again and again in the same location. You'll generally set up a fixture on your table and then you can just basically cut apart, take uh, take the blank out once done, put in the next blank, and then go back and cut that program again and again in the same location. If you want to see a little bit more about that, if you go to our uh, YouTube page and just search for, you can just type in work, hit enter and you can watch this video here it talks a little bit more about when and why you might want to use a, a work offset so first of all in ward cam we probably want to set up a new machine specifically to use a work offset position that we can do is go into our machine database and I'm going to take one of these machines and I'm going to down here at the bottom add machine to make a copy of that so it'll make a copy in this list here with the new in front of it and I'm going to rename this and call this work offset uh, all the settings up here will stay the same I want to copy material from an existing machine so I'll just copy materials from that machine and then I want to have a specific variables file for this machine. The variables file controls what sort of codes and things show up in the CNC file, how the, how the uh, machine's going to behave. If I toggle on the advanced button here, right now this new machine that I made is looking at the default variables file here. If I want to change it to a different variables file, I can click on choose file and basically you want to navigate to this location C program data wordjet wordcam scripts posts and we're in the wordjet x series folder uh, so basically you can kind of follow that path that's in the uh, in the background here C program data wordjet wordcam scripts posts wordjet x series in this case and then just want to follow that path so this is the current variables file that we're looking at I'm just gonna make a copy of that so control C control V copy it and then I'm just gonna rename this and hit enter and then I want to use that so click on that click on open so now if I make any changes the variables related to this machine they're not going to affect my other machine which is still looking at the default variables py file other settings there can stay the same click on save and exit and we'll just take a part out of our shape library corner hit our next button machine I should have my new work offset machine here and I've got some half inch aluminum on the table right now and we'll just do auto hit our next button and then we're going to go into options and you'll want to probably hit your scroll lock key before you go in here so it'll unhide any uh, currently hidden menus and options on those different menus so you can either press the scroll lock key on your keyboard or if you don't have that you can just pull up the on-screen keyboard a lot of keyboards nowadays might not have the scroll lock key so click on scroll lock and then I can minimize that so now if we click on the options menu and go into edit variables 
it'll show me all of the available tabs and then all of the different options that are available on those different tabs. If the uh, eyeball next to an item is gray, then that means it's not going to show up if the scroll lock key is not uh, depressed. So we want to go to the uh, default tab and scroll down here a bit. You want to just left click and hold this slider and scroll down and eventually you'll see there'll be a prompt or an option for prompt for work offset and we're probably going to want to make this visible and we'll turn that on and then if you scroll down a bit further you'll have work offset default which right now is set to G92 so we're going to turn this one on and so if you know most of the time you're going to want to have G54 as your work offset position, you can use that. You can choose anywhere from G54 to G59. And the last one here we're not going to use since we're not using G92. This is what it would use for if you use G92. That's the line of code that will stick in there. So we got that. We'll go ahead and save that. So if I create this file, let's see if it's going to open file yes okay so it comes up with the box and defaults to the G52 if I did decide that I wanted to use a different one I can just click into that box and change it we'll stick with the G54 click on OK and we'll call this color here, zoom in a little bit. So now at the beginning of the program, rather than having a G92 X0, Y0, Z0, we have the G54, tells the controller to look at, tells it that all the code after here should be based off of whatever the save G54 position is in the controller, and we'll cut it. Now, important to note here is if there's no Z in your file, if we don't have a G00, Z0, anything like that, then the program will cut at whatever the current Z height of the cutting head is. So typically you're probably going to want to have a uh, G00, Z0 at the start of the program to have the cutting head come down to whatever your saved Z position is for your G54. So to do that we need to basically tell it to use the, uh, the height setter and we'll put in codes there for the programmable Z moves. So for that part of it, we'll go back into Options, Edit Variables, and then the Height Sensors tab can be used either for Height Setter or just for Programmable Z Moves. So for first Height Sensor, you can just, usually I just put a comment here in case I ever want to do this, so it's not actually going to do this since I have the semicolon in front of there. And let's see then we are going to tell it to do height sensor down is going to be G00 Z0 and then height sensor up change that to be G00 Z and then the braces basically tell ward cam to look down and use whatever number here for the lift between cuts and then if you prefer you can have a different lift height at the uh, the end of the program and then we just want to turn on this use height sensor button and then it'll put in those codes here again this will be with programmable Z even though we're using the height sensors tab uh, since these codes that we put in here have the G00Z so we'll go ahead and save that and create our CNC file. Again we'll do the G54 and we'll just replace that. So now at the beginning of the program it'll move to one inch above the G54Z position, wrap it over and then come down to our 
Z height for the cutting. And then we also have the lifts between the cuts. And then we also have the lift at the end of the program. Actually, I guess I didn't tell it to lift at the end of the program. Let's lift at the end of the program. So there, it'll lift an inch at the end. Okay, so we've got our file, and we've got our G54. We've got Z's in here, so we'll go to the correct Z height. So let's switch over to the move controller. So if we look at the camera, I've got this material set up on the table. I know that the uh, corner of that material is basically at uh, X of 54 and a half and Y of 12 and then uh, we'll plug those in for our X and Y for the work offset position and then for the Z since this cutting head has a height setter on here I can run the height setter to establish my Z height if you don't have a height setter you just manually jog your cutting head down to where you want your cutting height to be and you'll s capture that value for your Z height so to do that here and move over on the right you've got the offsets area here and then in here you've got either positions where you can save XYZ positions which um, can basically kind of work like an offset but not totally but we're working on the offsets tab here here you've got your G54 through G59 work offset positions now I've already got this one set up so we're just gonna go ahead and edit this but we'll change it so you basically type in what you want for these values so you click in the box so I know that Y is 12 uh, or you can jog your cutting head to the corner of your fixture and you can click on the camera and then it will capture whatever the, those X and Y values are. Now for the Z what we can do, let's see what we've got so far we're basically going to run the, uh, the height setter let me zoom in on this Alright, so I'm just going to jog a little bit to the right to make sure that I'm over my material. So back to the controller. I'm just going to go into snail mode here a little bit and jog over a bit. Should be good there. We're going to run the height setter. So we're going to run it on head one. So over here on the left, I can expand the head one menu. Click on start routine switch back to the camera height setter comes down finds the top of the material and then brings the cutting head down to my preferred cutting height so now I can capture that as my Z value so if we go back into here can just click and close that click back into offsets edit this position and here if I just click on the camera then it'll capture that Z height so I've got my X, my Y, my Y, my Z, click on save so here it shows me where my cutting head currently is and then it shows me where that work offset position is so on any of these work offsets if you click onto these then it'll show you where that is on your table and where your cutting head currently is Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on our pump. As you see, we're building pressure here. Now, right now my cutting head is at my cutting height, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to go ahead and jog the cutting head up here a bit. And we'll go up 
a little bit faster. Okay. So our Z height is above where we want to be. Our X and Y are away from where we want to be. Just to show this, pumps on. We got the abrasive and water buttons turned on here. Click on the part button. There's the file that we made. See this little indication here that's got the G54 to show. It's got a work offset position there. Click on the play button, loads that into our cutting area. And we should just, we're at 100%, that should be good. We'll go ahead and click run here and then switch back to our live view. So then once it's done with this piece, we can put a new fixture or a new blank into our fixture and just hit the recut and then it'll go back and cut it again in the same place again and again. So if you have any questions on how to set up work offsets either in WardCam or the Move Controller, please let us know. Thanks.